ऑनलाइन वीडियो क्लासेस फॉर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंग्लिश शाह लतीफ यूनिवर्सिटी खैरपुर दीज वीडियो लेक्चर्स कवर द होल स्कोप ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड यू विल फाइंड वीडियोस फॉर द सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ ड्रामा फिक्शन नावल इन एटीन एंड नाइनटीन सेंचुरी एंड अमेरिकन लिटरेचर एज वेल फॉर वॉचिंग मोर वीडियोज कीप ऑन वॉचिंग माई वीडियो चैनल एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल आई थैंक यू ऑल एंड आई लव यू ऑल Bismillahirrahmanirrahim welcome to the video classes for the students of Institute of English Shah Abdul Latif University Kharpur this time i am in front of you with a very interesting topic ladies and gentlemen from the subject drama and from the writer george bernard shaw i will present before you his theory of life force and creative evolution ladies and gentlemen george bernard shaw the most important and most significant modern writer is regarded as an iconoclast in literature he broke away number of taboos and <clears throat> broke different idols of the writing styles of his age and came up with very innovative and with great ideas one of his greatest contribution in english literature is his theory of life force and creative evolution what is life force and what do we mean by creative evolution in his dramas he presents this theme and tells that life can be possible for living more than hundreds of years and he tells us that life can be worth living if man follows the plane of creative evolution and if he realizes what life force means Ladies and gentlemen, George Bernard Shaw was very much influenced by the writers of evolution. He was impressed by the writings of Charles Darwin and other evolutionary writers. But then he came up with his own ideas. As I told you that he was icon class and he never believed in anything without reasoning. So he discarded all the Uh, theories of evolution and he came up with his own theory of evolution and he tells that life in the beginning was female wow that's very much interesting the feminist study of george bernard shaw will reveal all these things with great attraction he tells that in the beginning life was a female and then out of necessity not out of necessity but out of his love he created man so that she may procreate george bernard shaw says that she could have lived without man but she preferred to continue her procreation through man because man looks like her so she created first man now women becomes a creator and man is the creation of that creator so man is humble follower of woman but what don't go away continue subscribe my channel and watch my videos for such interesting and informative knowledge sharing and let me continue with this theory of life force that now this life force means the real source of life was in fact a woman and she created man so that she may procreate and for that action of procreation she needs she needed human assistance and this assistance could be provided in a, for a very short time but she kept man as her partner and then she ordered man to carry out her different duties she used to take rest and then man has to carry out all her orders man used to cook for her man used to work for her man was there to serve her man was there to follow all her orders and then there came the time of you know uh, pregnancy and till pregnancy man served her well and then when she delivered a child man has to once again take care of herself so man was slave of that master creator and this master creator was a woman keep this point in mind then in order to facilitate himself and her creator man started learning different professions man became very good cook man became very good servant man became carpenter man became mason man became laborer man cultivated agriculture man started business man started carrying out all those things to provide comfort to her 
because she needed it and she was relaxing in her home just simply delivering orders and getting all those orders to be delivered and in this way you find that all the leading artists of the world are men all the leading scientists of the world are men all the writers are male because they did all these things to obey her and then sometimes to entertain her to please her men used to write poetry men used to act men used to perform dramas men has to write novels all these things were done to satisfy the master which was women and even today all our affairs are being controlled by women though women in today's world consider themselves as the exploited class and they feel as if they are being controlled by male in this male chauvinist society but bernarsha tells that in fact all orders are delivered by women look around our lives we follow the orders of our wives follow the orders of our uh, uh, you know friends our girlfriends our sisters our cousins female are always respected they are given always due respect it is because they deserve it because they are the creator and we are their creation so we follow simply their orders and in this creative evolution the stage came when bernard shaw writes that a single woman can captivate 99 men out of 100 a single woman captivates 99 men out of 100 she delivers orders and men simply and humbly bow down their heads following their orders they are still servants serving their master creator right ladies and gentlemen the one which is left the one who doesn't blindly follow the orders of that single woman is a genius but now what happens to this genius manasha says that as genius thinks 100 years ahead of his living genius is discarded in society society can't understand the value worth and vision of a genius so they are not respected in society and when man is not respected outside where does he come he comes to his home and in home he is a woman he is a wife and then as a genius as he doesn't follow blindly the orders of women he is discarded from even home so genius suffers genius always suffer now this is world history all the great legends of the world who were genius they had suffered a lot and then they roam around they go to the deserts they stay in caves they spend time in libraries they you know stay time outside their homes they pass time like this but bernard shaw says that we need to bring creative revolution and this revolution will come when we will increase the number of genius genius who is not blind follower of a woman will make this life heaven and well living and then bernard shaw is of the opinion that let us increase the number of genius let us find the genius people let us patronize them let us help them let us support them and let us make them procreate more and more and then he says that all ordinary lives may be saloon but only genius must live and when genius will be living when all will be genius the scope of this life will be brighter and better because all hardships all wars all all problems all the matters of hunger all the matters of conflicts are created by ordinary men are created by 99 men who are not genius so let us promote genius in society and when genius are there there will be no war there will be no conflict there will be no fire there will be no disease there will be no hazard there will be no malnutrition there won't be any problems and then this world will be turned into eden and heaven will be here in this world and in these conducive ways of living human life may longer to 300 years 400 years 500 years man will live happy and successive successful life and this is what is the purpose of literature let us promote the number of genius let us pick genius from society and let us patronize them let us help them let us make them greater in number so that genius 
may rule this world and when genius will be ruling this world and when the world will be full of genius this world present a very beautiful look this is theory of life force and creative evolution because genius have taken the life force from women and now they have conquered women they have conquered their master they have conquered their creator and they have the capacity to continue creative evolution and when the creative evolution is achieved the standards of life will not be the same as they are today thank you very much for watching this video